Hello everybody. Uh, I, this is just a short little video, but, and I've, you can see the camera angle's a little different here. This right here behind me, all these craft paints, you know, a lot of people will do amazing canvas paintings with, you know, just their craft paints. People do, I use mine for wood. Um, and like I said, since I do it with wood, I haven't used them for quite some time. And I'm sorry, but the sun, it, it's coming down and it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a problem here in about five minutes. <laughs> anyway, this will be a short video. Um, I just want to know who has, who, who uses these and do you have problems with them going hard? They're, they're like setting up. So I was, um, if you watch my previous video, I've got changes going on. So I've been going through things, you know, art supplies don't last forever. Craft supplies, some of them do go bad. And so I was going through these paints over here because I haven't used them for quite a while. And I started noticing that some of them were hard, like totally solid in those containers. And those are the ones that were fine, but the ones that I ended up noticing were solid were all folk art. Every single one of them was folk art. I had 10 bottles of this friggin' folk art paint, bottle after bottle, and every single one of them was folk art. So, Apple Barrel. I have got some, I've got a couple paints up there that was from Ben Franklin. Okay. Um, I don't remember which ones it was. Ben Franklin. There's a couple up there that's Delta Ceramics or Ceramicoat. Who's ever heard of that? They were my mom's when I was little and I'm still using them. They, they're still fine. They smell a little funny, <laughs> but I think it's just the way that they smelled them. Cause you know, craft acrylics kind of have a, an odor to them anyway. But I, I would not have dreamed in a million years that folk art, I thought folk art was a pretty decent brand. But have any of you had trouble with folk art, with craft paint? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Or if there's a brand you prefer, let me know because I'm not buying this ever again. I was pretty upset because I have to throw all that paint away. So anyway, just a little tidbit for you, or if you're in the market to buy some, I do not recommend folk art. All my lids were tight. And some of these are not that old at all. And they set up. So, got any suggestions on better craft paint? That's not $5 a container. Anyway, let me know. Thanks. Share your crafty love.